Hi there, my name is Derek Dallas. I'm going to be your instructor for CIS 152 Web Design 1. And this class is going to be uh, fully online and happening through the summer of 2015. And so I want to give you a, an overview of the course and basically orient you to what you'll be doing and uh, the kind of content and the pace at which you're going to be uh, following through the course. Um, in the summertime things move pretty quickly. Um, pretty much have projects due every three days um, and you will be moving at a pretty rapid pace. Um, you will be fully online meaning you will not have to come to campus for anything. Uh, if you want to speak with me personally we can use video chats. I'll talk about that. Um, or you can use email or you could phone uh, use phone calls. If you lived in town and you wanted to come in on campus that would be fine but it's not necessary if you don't need to do that. Uh, so we're going to get started looking at, at things. You're going to be using Cobra, uh, Parkland's, um, Parkland's uh, content management system, and it's going to give you courses that you enroll for here at Parkland. Uh, it's got, so for instance, uh, if you've enrolled in the courses for the summer, you're going to have a link to this. I have a full video on the course schedule about navigating through Cobra and all those things so you can uh, find that but I think you once you enroll in classes you are given uh, links to learning this already on your own but I give some brief overviews uh, through my web uh, through the website through the course uh, schedule so uh, when you get to the one CIS 152 uh, content page um, you get basically your home page here and it's going to say get started and it says please click on the content link and follow the instructions essentially so when you go to the content link here it's going to give you a few paragraphs of information that uh, you'll want to use first of all is the uh, link here this is the link to the home page of the class which will take you to this link right here um, and this provides you some information I mean just very simple information my name uh, my office number um, my office hours uh, selected. When you go here, this goes to my home, my home page, and my summer office hours are going to be Mondays at 10 a.m. If you choose to come to class, that would be, or if you wanted to choose to speak with me, that is when I would have uh, office hours for you to for you to come to. Um, and so, since everything's fully online, you won't have to come to class. Um, when I do have class, it's in D208, um, meaning for of my online classes or my hybrid classes. Um, we, will, we will be using a textbook called Mirox HTML5. We'll get to that in just a little bit. And um, so this is the basic home page. Notice that there are links right here to that. We can go to the syllabus and we can go to the course schedule. And the course schedule lays out the entire semester date by date, class period by class period, so that you can see fully what you need to do and you can see what is due on that day here and uh, these are the the web links uh, to the actual course content for that particular section uh, of the class there's also textbook readings here that go along with it so pretty much everything is assigned in this space if something is due it is assigned in this space and then any videos that I create for this class uh, will be here. Um, the class introductions that I'm making right now will be added to this. They won't be in this video, but they will be here when you actually log in and begin looking at the content. So there will be the introductory videos right there. Um, so when you're looking at the schedule, this tells you basically what you're trying to do and it talks about everything uh, for the whole semester. Um, I do want to begin by going through the syllabus. The syllabus is basically the agreement of what we're going to be doing for the semester, um, the content, the books, um, the, those kind of things, um, and other information about Parkland. So I do want to talk about that before we get started so you have a full overview of basically what you're going to be doing. Now, as I mentioned right at the very beginning, with this being a summertime class, it, it goes very quickly. Um, if you notice on the schedule that it's every three days, basically this is Monday, June 
15th and then this is Thursday and this is Monday and Thursday. So every Monday and every Thursday something is either being assigned and or something is being uh, due. Something is due. Uh, and so pretty much that's the cycle. Every Monday, Thursday something's being turned in and something is being assigned. And um, so you can look at that. Uh, in this class, we're going to be looking at uh, web building websites, understanding HTML5 and CSS3 code, and how you build and lay out web pages. We're going to be talking about um, the syntax, we're going to be talking about the elements and the tags and, and all of those selectors. These are terms that you'll be learning as you go along. Um, we're going to be working out of a, uh, a textbook that I'll talk about in just a second. Uh, there is no prerequisite for this class. There used to be a prerequisite, but we've dropped that now, and I think that um, that it needs to be specified. Again, if you want to reach me, I'm in B136 in the uh, uh, the B wing uh, of Parkland College. Um, I am going to be holding uh, video chats uh, if you want to use that. I have a Gmail account called Derek.Dallas at gmail.com and through that you can set up what's called a Google Plus, uh, uh, a Google Plus, a um, what's called a uh, um, Hangout and we can do video chats through that. I do have a video on how to use those things here on the schedule uh, so that you can look at those things and learn more about it if you're not familiar with Gmail or the Google uh, Plus uh, content. Um, again, class location, if you're not going to have to worry about that being in summer class. And uh, um, we are, you know, class times, is, since it's online, it's going to be something that you do on your own um, between the dates, the due dates that are specified. I do have reading assignments that are going to be coming out of the Murox HTML5 book. If you click on this, it should open up in a new tab. If you haven't gotten this book, you will want to get it. It is a, it is a pretty hefty book, but it's full of information that you'll want. Um, the readings are correspond with the content in the classroom on the class schedule and you will find that content pardon me, to be very 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 helpful and in, in, in depth and so anything that might be unclear on the web pages you can uh, look up in the book and there's references and there's web references and uh, course examples all, all available from the book and it's an outstanding book um, so there are other books that are possible. There's books that have been used called Build Your Own Website the Right Way Using HTML and CSS, uh, Visual Guides, uh, Quick Start Books, uh, Insert the, the newest version of Dreamweaver, which is Adobe's uh, website authoring or HTML authoring, authoring um, uh, web uh, software. And so, uh, uh, that is another guide or another tool that you can use. A lot of the, the content that we'll be talking about has, has been, uh, been done along for quite a while, so a lot of the techniques are the similar, but there are newer techniques that have been uh, recently implemented within the last year or so um, that have updated some of the things that have been done in the past, and that's called HTML5 and CSS3, or Cascading Style Sheets. Uh, level three basically um, but we'll be looking at that as we go along so I'm not going to go into all of those details yet it will become just so, uh, it'll become confusing the software that you're going to need for this class um, the, the software that you'll need in the beginning is a simple text editor uh, you will not need specific software until the last half of the class so don't jump in and buy something right away or do anything because I try to hold, we hold off on that till the very end of the class so that if you do get a free trial or something like that you can have time to use it at the end of the class and be able to use it for the entire course at the end instead of getting it at the beginning we don't even talk about it until the end so hold off on purchasing anything if you're going to do that 
Um, you will need a browser. You'll be working with Firefox, Chrome. If you're a Mac user, you can use Safari. Um, a lot of people use Internet Explorer. Um, uh, we'll be using text editors such as Notepad or Text Edit or Text Wrangler. And we'll be using uh, SFTP uh, software such as WinSCP. Some people use Cyberduck or Fetch if you're a Mac user. Um, I also use FileZilla myself, and that is another software package that you can use. And that's for transferring files from your, basically out of, or from your computer up to the Parkland server. And so you're going to be actually sending me a URL or a web link that I can click on that will open up your web page in a browser. And I can look at all that through a, a browser. And uh, you'll be learning how to do that as you go along. Again, as I mentioned, Dreamweaver is something that we will be using, um, uh, but not till the last portion of the, the course. As a matter of fact, you can look at the dates here and see that Dreamweaver isn't going to be happening until around July the 6th or so. So the last month of the class starts using Dreamweaver. And uh, so you don't have to worry about that so much in the beginning. Uh, CIS 152, if you haven't had uh, any sort of computer-based class, you will have wanted to take some kind of class, but uh, as far as the basics, um, uh, you should be able to manage things. Uh, if you are familiar with the basic computer, if you're familiar with how files are organized on a computer or within a computer and hierarchical structures, you'll do fine. Um, you'll get the hang of it. But if you read through this list here in orange about recommendations and you read through that and you realize that, wow, I don't know 50 or 90 percent of it, you, you may want to uh, rethink and start with a, a class that might introduce you to the computer and the basic fundamentals of a computer um, uh, before you get into this because there are some things you need to understand. Uh, the evaluation and class policies. Um, you will be using your Parkland account, your email account through Cobra. Uh, you will be communicating with me through that. So make sure you are using Cobra and not your personal email because it has a tendency to uh, get junk mailed in my side or spam mailed. Uh, and my spam mail <clears throat> can filter that out. So use Cobra uh, to communicate. There will be quizzes. For all of the, uh, for most of the sections, there's going to be about 10 quizzes, um, and there are uh, about uh, 11. No, there's about 11 uh, major projects that you will do. Each project has a deadline, and if you look at the uh, Dropbox here in Cobra, I'm in Cobra. Uh, you can see that we have Project One through Project 11 here. And those all have corresponding dates of when they need to be done. Basically, you'll be able to click on this link and it'll open up a place for you to upload your URL links or any files that I've requested. And you'll be able to turn those things in there. Uh, you don't have to come physically to school. You put them in there and then they're good to go. There are quizzes that are pretty much the follow the same pattern. Uh, they're they're going to be assigned on a certain date and they are available at a certain time and you click on them and take them. The first one will be the syllabus quiz and the second one will be the quiz that covers content for the first project. Uh, or covers content, everything that you did for the first project. So all of that is laid out and you can see all of that right now uh, when you log in to Cobra and C. So uh, you can do all that. Everything will be due at pretty much the deadline is around 11.30 at night. Uh, that night. So on the dates, that's it's due. Everything is due at the end of that day on the sixth. So project five, and for this example, is due on July sixth at pretty much 11:30 at night. Pretty close to midnight, but it can't it doesn't do midnight. So 11:30 is the time typically when it's sent, or 11:59. So basically, it'll be due at the end of that day. One of the things I want you to be aware of is that you do want to turn something in. Even if something didn't go right, uh, you know, maybe something happened and you weren't able to complete your homework, 
turn in what you do have. Don't turn in nothing. Don't just skip it. Because if you turn something in, you'll get points for what you have done. You may, you obviously, you can have then have time to rework it. And then I can look at your work and update your grade from the